Okay, this is um, a crashing spaceship for episode seven. Um, they went outside and shot on set a bunch of people looking up into the sky and running from something. You can see these guys running around. We had to add um, spacecraft coming down and breaking into a building and dumping a bunch of rubble onto the set because in the final, once the spaceship has crashed and they're walking around in the story, there's a whole bunch of rubble on the ground, so we had to break up a building to do that. So what we do is we get the plates of the film that they shot, of all the people looking into the sky and running. We rough in some timing of the spaceship coming down, which is what this is. So I have a rough animation of a ship coming down and people running away from it. This is given to the editors, who cut it into the show and check the timing and things. Um, once the... Uh, cut of the show is locked, we get the timing back that they actually used, and then we can come in and generate final elements for the shot. So this is the ship and the rubble coming down. They could have done this on set and thrown a whole bunch of rubble around, but it would have taken a day or two to set up and to shoot it, and I think this was is a six day or eight day shoot for these episodes, so they don't have the time to spend um, putting a whole bunch of practical stuff in a lot of the shots usually. And then that also limits what we can do because then our timing is limited to exactly whatever rubble they threw around. So sometimes it's easier for us to just generate it afterwards. After we're finished with this and we're happy with it, it gets sent to the compositors who end up putting it back together with the plate. Well, as you saw earlier, we have several elements that we have to combine into the live plate, which was shot on the day. Uh, in the storyline, Seaford does not have uh, blue sky or tree. So the first thing we do is take the play. We would have to eliminate the things which aren't supposed to be there to begin with, which is the sky and trees. Then we can start adding in the other elements from 3D. So here we've got a sign on the bar which we have to add and uh, this building which is the one that actually gets hit by the ship. Uh, the Seafra cityscape in the background. The sky, which is orange in this case. Uh, then we can start putting in the fun stuff like the CG craft which is crashing on the ground. Then in order to merge that into the plate, we start adding our dust elements, debris, and other things into the plate. So here you can see that I've brought the person from the background into the foreground again. It's a procedure called um, rotoscoping, and what we have to do is go in frame by frame and actually outline the person. In this case, I used a different technique. I used a difference mat, which what I can do is tell the computer to take whatever's in the foreground and whatever is different from another plate that I give it to just separate out that element which in this case happens to be this guy right here. So um, it's fairly easy to bring him into the foreground and uh, add him back in. And then we have dust elements and atmospheric elements which help merge everything together. And then we end up with a final shot with a little bit of camera shake, and this is what we get. This was a, a more in-depth shot uh, because there were so many atmospheric elements. Uh, we had debris elements, separate layers, the sky, the city in the background, the sign. So here you're probably looking, here we're looking at about 30 elements, but it's actually broken apart into several different comps. So in total, by the time everything is done, you're probably looking at probably close to 80 layers in order to make this work. The final shot, I can show you the uh, sequence of shots as they were cut, um, which is this here. So this is the shot we just looked at, but it runs something like this. So we have the ship coming in. It's going to hit that building there. It crashes through, again, all the dust elements. And this is the shot which we just saw. So that's the shot as it will appear in the show. Thank you.
this particular shot's for uh, episode eight where they wanted to blow up these mines on Sipra. And uh, the idea behind it is that there's total destruction. And uh, so we came, came up with the idea of doing like a, a full atomic assault on them. And uh, the final result is this. Um, the interesting th thing with this shot is, is it's all CG. Um, Mike and Mike came up with a, with a landscape that's all uh, full CG. And then I came up with these, these particle effects that create these kind of nuclear type explosions. So, um, just a bunch of eye, eye candy for, for this particular segment. So, and then the scene itself doesn't, doesn't look like much here. It's basically just points in space flying around. But once rendered, then you get, you get this effect. So what we're seeing there in your left monitor, that's the, the 3D model for the explosion? Yeah, for one of the, the five explosions that are in the shot. It's just, uh, just represents where, how it forms and whatnot, so. And are each of the five explosions a little bit different from each other? Uh, yeah, generally they're the same. Um, the only difference is uh, the way that we call them uh, dustopuses, uh -huh. uh, how they fly out of the, the main cloud and, and just so it has a random look, they don't look identical. So, but essentially, they're the same simulation, just ran a little differently each time. So, about how long did this see this shot really um, take you to create? Uh, we put about a week to a week and a half in it with all the elements at various times because the this this uh, background element was created earlier, and I think that was about a week in total. And then I put about a week into the the particle system as well for the explosions. So, one thing that I notice in it that really makes it effective is the camera shape. Yeah, um, Mark uh, comped this one and he put that in on his end, and it definitely gives it a more dramatic feel. I like it. it; makes you feel a little more like you're you're there, kind of thing. So, how are we in weapons? We're there. I'm army. Target the mines. What? It's the only way. Locking on. Fire. 